A brief history of the metaverse. As technology continues to develop, so does our understanding of what the metaverse is and how it works. What began as an abstract idea about binocular vision has become a fully developed way to experience an entirely new virtual reality. The metaverse that we know of today, a fully immersive internet, isn't the same as the metaverse originally thought of back in the 1800s. Unlike today's Web 3.0 technology, the metaverse's beginnings can be traced back to a man named Sir Charles Wheatstone, who created an outline for a concept where two images, one for each eye, can be combined to make a singular 3D image. In this guide, we're going to outline the extensive history behind the metaverse. From where it began to the metaverse's future, we've got you covered. The beginning of the metaverse. The beginning of the metaverse is often attributed to the work of scientist Sir Charles Wheatstone. Although Wheatstone is known for inventing the concertina instrument and the Playfair cipher, his contribution to the metaverse comes from his concept of binocular vision. This concept allowed him to invent the stereoscope, a device that allows you to observe 3D pictures by utilising depth of field. The stereoscope is common technology still used today in things like X-rays and aerial photographs. Along with that, the technology from stereoscopes is also used in modern VR headsets. The development of this technology helped inspire Stanley Weinbaum to publish his novel Pygmalion Spectacles. In this literary work, the main character gets to explore and experience a fictional world by using a pair of goggles. Those goggles allowed the main character to use all five senses to experience the world around him. Around two decades after the novel was published, Morden Hellig created the Sensorama. The Sensorama was a machine that simulated what it would look and feel like to ride a motorcycle in Brooklyn. The invention combined 3D video with audio, visual, smells and vibrational cues to give the user a fully immersive experience. A few years later, in 1960, Hellig patented the first head-mounted VR display. This type of display worked by combining stereoscopic 3D images with stereo sound. During the 1970s, MIT came up with the Aspen Movie Map. This VR experience enabled users to take a virtual tour of Aspen, Colorado, therefore bringing in the idea of transporting people to new places. How the Metaverse Continues to Grow It wasn't until 1992 when Neil Stevenson's novel Snow Crash first introduced the term Metaverse. In this literary work, the metaverse referred to an alternate reality that people could go to in order to escape the totalitarian regime they lived in. The early 90s saw the development of VR arcade machines and, in 1998, Sports Vision was the first to broadcast a live NFL game with a yellow field marker. It didn't take long for the idea of overlaying frames on top of live footage to spread among other sports channels and forms of media. In just over another decade, we saw the development and launch of the Oculus Rift VR headset by 18-year-old entrepreneur Palmer Lucky. With the Rift, we were introduced to a 90-degree field of vision and the use of computer processing power. In 2014, Facebook purchased the Oculus Rift and shortly after, Sony and Samsung announced plans to follow suit on VR development. With Facebook changing its name to Meta in 2021, it's safe to say that their focus has shifted to shaping the future of the metaverse as a whole. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.